please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Pacificthilson.com is with us. Mr. Sen, good morning. Your thoughts first on uh, this uh, construction ban. Uh, uh, you reckon the Mumbai-based players uh, could be impacted quite severely? Shianuj, I think this is mainly the goof up between the two departments, Urban Development Department and Environment Department. And honestly, if you really ask me, probably I may sound a little optimistic, but I don't see that the, the, the ban will continue till next hearing on the 9th October. Because if you see, the affidavit was to be filed in Supreme Court either by the Urban Development Department or by Environment Ministry. And that was the confusion prevailing between the Maharashtra governments, both of them. So I think that on an urgent basis, they will move before the Supreme Court and, you know, maybe Supreme Court will put a penalty or, you know, will will reprimand the, the departments and these things is likely to get sorted out. And again, you know, there has been, though the order spells out that the no new online projects, uh, uh, no, no new, new permission for the project and online construction. So that, that indicates that all the construction, whether it is a residential one of the private builder or of the government agencies, will going to get stopped. But if you recall, in March 18 only, the Supreme Court has allowed for this, this, uh, this uh, new project sanction and all that for next six months. So I'm Yes, this should be taken as a, as a, as a temporary response, but I'm expecting the relief to come in next one week or so. Oh, one week. That's good to hear. Uh, good morning, Mr. Tulsi. And now, of course, we have to move over to the auto sales numbers. I'll come to the positive numbers in a minute, the commercial vehicle sales. But uh, the uh, personal vehicle sales, Maruti, Hero Moto, TVS, uh, what have you made of those numbers? Will the market worry or just leave it to Kerala? See, Lata, first let's take, take that the commercial vehicle segments are seen to be extremely good. You know, whether you take the Ashok Leyland or Aisha CV segment or maybe the Mahindra and Mahindra, again the commercial vehicle segment, whether AV, light or, or medium commercial vehicle. So that is the respite or that's a very positive news because market has all along been apprehending that the things are going to be bad for CV segment as well. Come on the tractor sales, the July and August are always the lean month. So I'm not worried on that account. The August and the September and October are the bumper months. This is the, this time only because of the slight delay in monsoon and the festive season getting postponed by about maybe 15 to 20 days. Probably the best month of September up to October may spill over to November also. So we will be going to see the flattish kind of tractor sales from Mahindra and Mahindra who have not yet declared the number. So I'm not worried for the escort sale. They have very much been on line and this, uh, this, this lean period is coming to an end. So again, starting next month, we will be seeing very robust uh, tractor sales numbers come on the PV sales yes the things are looking flattish and I don't know whether one can only attribute this flattish kind of a performance for Karnataka flood which definitely has contributed to the fall of the sales you know because that kind of fall in sales has not been seen in the TVS motor sales you know if you want to take a negative or maybe a flattish view on the two-wheeler segments that they have not performed well in fact TVS motor has performed exceedingly, exceedingly well maybe uh, in case of Royal Enfield Aisha motor yes the, the things are looking flattish at about 70,000 but they have been facing the the some kind of inventory constraint and capacity constraint also and that was seen in the month of in the month of July also so maybe one can attribute hero moto again the uh, numbers were seen to be flattish we need to see the numbers from Bajaj Auto which have not yet been out so overall I can say that the two wheelers have been not so disappointing you can call them as flattish but yes PV sales definitely have been looked little flattish to disappointing Okay, Mr. Dulcian, good morning. Uh, yes, Bank is now down 15% in one fortnight alone because of all these issues surrounding Rana Kapoor. Uh, is this a good time to be buying the stock? Yes, Sonia. In fact, this is a good time. I don't know whether the things will really, how, how, how long it will linger on. But, you know, the, 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 on Friday, the corrections which you have seen, the extension having come to Rana Kapoor, Till further notice that has not been received well by the market which I don't read it so negative because even if you are, one presumes that the Rana Kapoor has to get replaced because if people have been talking of divergence one may say that the, in case of Yes Bank the divergence quantum is very high it may be 2x or 2.5 to 3x which has not been in case of other banks but this divergence issue has been seen prevailing for all other banks you know so I'm honestly not no see any reason of worry on that account and even if the replacement process has to happen that's a, that's a long process it cannot open it cannot happen just by a rejection letter. The replacement process has to happen. That's a, that's a long process. It cannot open. It cannot happen just by a rejection letter. And you know the things will 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 happen. The replacement will happen the very next day. So at least the process is as of now on. We do not know that what all has been transpiring.
happening between RBI and Yes Bank. But things are, for the time being, you know, looking to have 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 gone uh, on, on a settlement mode, and things are looking positive because we have been keeping the positive view on, on on all private sector banks also having corrected whether to take a call on HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank, Indusind, and Yes. More especially these four banks, we are keeping our 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 hold call on ICIC and Excess Bank because both have risen about maybe 15 to 20 percent in last one month alone, or maybe one and a half months. So keeping hold or maybe uh, uh, not buying advice on these two banks, but on on all other four banks like HDFC, Kotak, Indusind, and Yes, we have a buy call.